Hi, welcome to Terry Chew. My name is Sheree and this is Apple and today we're going to talk about Tough Mudder. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and like the video and share some comments so I know what's going on. So yeah, so we did Tough Mudder this year in September in somewhere in Cheshire and we thought that we had to train quite a bit for it but we actually didn't have to train a lot for it. It was pretty fun and I did train a little bit. Did you train? Well, technically, we did start training mm. last year mm -hmm. to try and get ourselves in shape yeah. to a certain level of um, fitness before we actually went and did it. Yeah. But then I stopped going to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not as daunting as you first see. It's really, it's like quite fun actually, as fun as gym might go. Yes, you get pretty muddy. Um, a lot of people do it for charity and um, for fun, and other people do it for fitness. You can do half mudder or you can do the full mudder. Um, and you just go at the pace that you need to go, whether it's really, really slow or if it's really, really fast. And it's kind of like, well, I did it really so me and my friends could bond really because it's more about team building and helping each other to get over the obstacles, which at first I thought was pretty daunting because I thought, how on earth am I going to do that really? I'm not going to be able to yeah. climb over that barrier. But even if you was on your own, it's about helping others. So people are actually help you to get over the wall or to complete a certain type of obstacle um, and basically it was a really good atmosphere because like mm -hmm. she says even though if you were to go on your own everybody just chips in and helps each other you'll be there struggling to get up one wall mm -hmm. and someone goes i'll help you up and you just stand on some strangers back and up you go and you go thank you and you keep it moving yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it was pretty good it was pretty fun and yeah it was like a really good atmosphere and um, you do get really muddy mud gets into some crevices that you didn't even think it would get so everywhere prepare for Everywhere. your bath not back <laughs> prepare for your bath to be pretty dirty when mm -hmm. you get home and your hair to be dirty mm -hmm. um the water the mud is pretty cold but like i said you don't have to overly train you can you don't even have to do all the obstacles you could actually even go around some yeah, of the obstacles. i missed out one of the obstacles yeah because the water was coming up to here and i just wasn't having it yeah no. i missed the one where you get electrocuted at the end yes. or towards the end because i did just did not want to get electrocuted no. but i thought i did pretty well i thought we did both did pretty well really I think we did really well um yeah. obviously the, the well the jog well at some point i think it gets like really muddy for a bit so you get really slippery and it's oh, really slidey so oh you have to walk yes and um it people would, lose their shoes i'm sure someone yeah, lost their shoe yeah. oh god people no. were losing <laughs> throwing things because i think people put a lot of clothing on thinking yeah. that they were going to be really cold and it is pretty cold but once you're kind of jogging it does get warmer even though you get in the mud and the ice and it's really cold but you still get warm because then the sun comes out so it was it, yeah it was it was pretty good really it was pretty good they give you like protein bars and drinks along the course so along you can way, get yes. like re-energized for mm. you know the place and um yeah it was good there was no music playing when i was running but you know um why would there be music uh, i don't know just to you know encouragement you know there's a bit oh, of we music, had music at the beginning, beginning. <laughs> and then it just was like uh where is this music on yeah. but um you know listening to people's conversations while you're jogging you know yeah stuff like that so all those people who are actually going to do tough mudder fear not you don't have to train for it even if you did a 10k the full one i think the full one's 10k the full one's 10k yeah because we only did half yeah, yeah and that was five so days. even if you did the full one yeah. you didn't even need to train you just do as much as you can and you just push yourself you know and we help strange you help the stranger and the stranger helps you and yeah. that way you can like defeat the course so if you're going to do tough mudder just just mm. do it it is good and um, we was thinking to do one next year but then i thought i don't know if i'm gonna well, do this i think we should i year. really i thoroughly enjoyed myself anyway and i think we pushed each other a lot so yeah. like we were jogging and we're like i can't go anymore and it was just like come on we can do it come on you're better than this <laughs> it's just like i thought it was really good <laughs> yeah mm. so we might do the one next year and see how that goes i don't know the one in cheshire again it just says northwest, so it doesn't say where. No, or like it didn't say until a few months before, I and mean, it didn't give you the location. So yeah, so maybe we do the ten k one, and then after mm. that, I wasn't even sore the next day. I did sleep for fifteen hours. Um, you wasn't sore the next day. I was sore mm. for a whole 
four or five days afterwards. Everywhere hurt, even parts I'd never hurt before and I didn't understand it and I just wanted to just die. <laughs> okay, that's a bit extreme. But I just I just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, because I've been going to the gym but I've not been like going to the gym. I've been trying to go to like really go to the gym now. Um, I just wasn't sore the next day. I just literally slept. So we got back about four o'clock. I had a shower and I literally went to bed and woke up at seven o'clock the next day. So it was a beautiful sleep. <laughs> I felt like a new person. So yeah, so you will be worn out. And then they obviously took, take some pictures. And we was not on any of those photos. I looked now, through all of those I looked photos. through the ones on Facebook. And when they sent Facebook them to too. the site, it was just like, I was not happy. We was yeah. in, uh, none, none of, of them. them. No, we posed. Pictures. We posed for one at the end. We were like, yeah. And then it's just not on there. We were so on I'm there. not happy. We were on, and then I couldn't even see. Good thing mm. we actually took pictures at the end of ourselves to say like we actually did. Oh yeah, at the yeah. end. We have finally finished the tough mudder. Yes, we did half, but we completed it. MS, look at that. Totally a mess. Well, she's more messy than I am because I did an extra obstacle. I only obstacle. did do one obstacle, okay. just one obstacle. That's all I did do, but the others I did. Thank you. Oh, another thing is when you first go in, um, you if you bring your bags in then you have to pay for baggage i can't remember how it was it was like three pounds like or pound. something, yeah. something like that so you can either use that or you can just leave your bags in the car and then and you have to remember where what aisle you put your bag on because stupid me i was like i can't remember where i put my bag and i was looking for it for a good 20 minutes so yeah. I wasn't happy. they do give you a label <laughs> on your bag but obviously it's probably better if you know what aisle that your your bags on yeah because everybody just stacks the it's, they don't give you a locker no everybody stacks the bags yeah. on each other yeah. on top of each other so. and we actually we did pay for the parking which was £10 and we parked on the lot of wherever the you know the tough mudder was so it wasn't that far it was like a five minute walk actually yeah. from the car or to less. there or yeah. less because it was actually when you got the car you could just see it there yeah. we didn't really hang about really there was like a couple things you could do like feet obviously eat and buy some merchandise and stuff yeah. like that but we just like went home and no we didn't keep our stuff we didn't keep we our left, clothes we left, no. we left those clothes right there we changed um, and um, we said goodbye yeah but yeah, I wasn't taking any of those clothes home because no. that's not mushy washable after that no. um, I didn't know what colour that was. No. Didn't think that mud was mud. Um, My green top was no longer green. No. Um, <laughs> it was like clay. I don't even know what was going on there. So yeah, um, yeah, I just, I just left. Even the trainers, I left, I left, I left everything, you know? Mm -hmm. I know. So um, probably wear the clothes that you're not planning to wear again. I did see some people obviously taking the clothes home to wash, but I'm not giving my washing machine that treatment. No. That's just really disgusting. Not disgusting to take it home, but I mean, like that's just bad of me to get you know treat my mushy machine like that i, I feel like the clothes just got destroyed and yeah. there's no saving them yeah <laughs> no, there wasn't any saving them so um do you have any tips or anything like that i think we've kind of did we cover it pretty much i think so in regards of like weather wise so depending on the time of year you do take mm. it and um, you do go and do the tough mudder don't uh, I don't think you still need to wear as many layers of clothing. So what me and Sharida mm -hmm. did is we actually did wear two tops and all that, but we got quite hot because you're running mm -hmm. and you're mm -hmm. climbing. So yeah. obviously your, blood, your blood pressure is going up and down and whatever. Even though you're going into like cold water and everything, mm. you're still going to be hot afterwards. Yeah. And yeah. so I wouldn't wear any jumpers. heavy clothing. You won't wear no jumpers, no jackets, just anything that's skin tight and all that because yeah. they'll just, it will just drag you down and you'll feel like you're just about to die in the water. Well, the skin tight <laughs> thing was good but I would recommend to wear long sleeves because oh, sometimes yes. you run your, your elbows um, and I didn't wear long sleeves. I wore obviously short sleeves and like my elbows, like it was over exfoliated. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I would definitely wear long sleeves next time. Mm -hmm. And skin tight as, would be good because then at least it's like, I don't know, it's close to your skin. It doesn't, it's cold but because I wore two layers actually and I thought that was alright I wore a vest mm. and a top mm. just so I wouldn't have the cold outside on the skin inside that makes no sense but yeah. it felt right to me so I just wore a vest and a, and a top over um, so that's it there wasn't really anything else but at least we got a nice free headband and t-shirt that I've been wearing yeah. in the gym feeling all you know yeah. feeling good and everything you know oh in regards of hair how would you wear your hair plaits um, sorry for us black girls 2k rows because what did I do? Did I do mine in plaits? I did 2k rows, but there was girls out there that they had that. No, you had your hair in a high puff, didn't you? And no, it got I had, caught. No, I had mine in a bubble like oh, this. Oh, but it got caught in the wire. Did it? Yeah, because you're like, ow, yeah, ow. That's true. That's yeah, true. so definitely just wear your hair in plaits. 
I swear um, a bandana on top of it. just wear a bandana or something like that. That too, which I don't think that will help because no, we're wet in water in here and water. Yeah. And um, air centers probably wouldn't be a good idea for this. As long as your hair and your ends are tucked away for us black girls, I'm sorry, but that's just the safest way to protect your hair <laughs> and for it not to get yanked out and all sorts so <laughs> <laughs> but is the, the mud still going to go in your hair either way because some causes mm. you just can't save yourself no. you know you're just going to fall in the mud that's wow. probably why they made it like that yeah. so you're not going to be safe as much as you try to not slip and slide it is inevitable yeah it's inevitable it is yeah <laughs> but yeah so that's it that's all our tips i just wanted to come on here and talk a bit a little bit about tough mother so hopefully you got some good tips if not i'm glad that you watched if you didn't watch well um i definitely would urge everybody just to do it like i know people don't like getting muddy because you know with ocd and they don't like getting dirty but it's just a great experience and everybody around is just all about go 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 it's just it's just really great i'd do it again and we're gonna do it next year oh wow <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so thank you for watching if you haven't commented comment if you haven't liked it like it if you don't like it well uh yeah thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye, bye.